It appears lockdown has turned us into a nation of picnic lovers, with sales of cool bags and hampers up a staggering 39%, according to John Lewis. Uh, if you are stuck in soggy sandwich territory, then Alison Hammond is joining us live from her garden, where she's got all the kit, all the stuff. Morning. 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 And all of this is actually my kit, my basket, mine, mine. Everything is mine. <laughs> so I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> So we're going to give you a few little tips on picnicking because I am the number one picnicker. First of all, less is more, OK? Don't try and pack it with loads of stuff because you're going to end up with loads of waste. Choose your favourite things and stick to those favourite things, small portions and things like that. You don't want to make your picnic basket too heavy. Like You don't want to take a picnic basket like this. It's just too big. If you want something small like this one with all your favourite things like so. Now... I like to use my jars like this, um, put my fruit in and things like that. But you could also have like your old jam jars and you can put the sauce at the bottom and put your cucumber in the top. So it's already dipped in the sauce and you're ready to go. So those are really handy to have. Um, as you can see, I've done that with my carrots as well. You can have your hummus at the bottom. And then you've got your carrots already dipped into the sauce. That's a good idea, actually. It's a great idea, isn't it? But I also like to carry my wet wipes in a jiffy bag because after that, you can use it as a bin. And then you can take all your rubbish home because you never leave your rubbish where you are. You always take it home. So these jiffy bags are really good. As you can see, I've got my chicken drummers in there. I'll put my bones in the jiffy bag afterwards and take that back home. I love these little boxes to put my cheese in. Um, or you could put some like pickles. I love these little boxes. I can't see but your I little boxes. Like... Can you not see my Hang on, hold boxes? it still a second. That? Oh, like it's a little teeny Look, tiny Tupperware. It's a little teeny box. Yeah, loads of these boxes are really handy. You don't need very much. You can put some crisps in them. And then you need your little cool bag. Now, cool bags are fantastic. Get yourself a shower cap and put a load of ice in your shower cap like that and put it into the ice box. Or you could also put one of these bottles in the freezer so it's ice. That's a good idea. And then put that in your cool bag. And then when it, like, defrosts, because on a hot day like this, it's going to become water. You've got a lovely cool drink mm. like that. So these are all my little top tips, really. Um, obviously, tidy up after yourself. And if you want to take a sweet treat, I've got a fantastic sweet treat for you. Rocky Road. You can put it in the freezer. Make it really hard. Then the next day, chop it up, put it into your little plastic container like that, and off you go. But you're probably thinking, Alison, I don't know how to make a rocky road. Well, here's someone I love very dearly to show you how. Here you go. Welcome to my home, Mikasa, your casa. Today, we are making a rocky road. And boy, have we been through a rocky road lately so you deserve this guys you deserve this rocky road today these are the ingredients we're going to start off with 125 grams of butter and then we need 200 grams of dark chocolate get a good quality chocolate and what you need to do is you need to get a bambari and you need to melt it so that's the chocolate and butter needs to be melted so as you can see it's lovely melted on a bambari over the cooker over there before we started. Then you need to leave that to cool. Uh, just let it chill for a bit, a little bit like me. Let it chill and sit there for a bit. So once your chocolate and butter has cooled down, what you need to do is add some golden syrup. Now, I would say about two tablespoons of golden syrup. I'm quite professional at working out sizes, so I can do it myself. One, two, tablespoons and mix that golden syrup into the chocolate and butter and boy does it smell amazing absolutely amazing then I'm gonna literally assemble my rocky road very very simple I've got biscuits put it in um, I should have really taken off all these cling films I forgot to do it but yeah some almond nut nuts Really mix it in. How easy is this? Literally, it's just a symbol. Marshmallows, like I said, marshmallows, really not a fan. But in a rocky road, lush. Bang them in. Bang them in. I love multis, so I'm going to go loads of those. This is so simple. Desiccated coconut, a bit of chocolate. Put it all in. 
Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now this is all you've got to do. How easy is this? A bit of a stir, get all those ingredients covered, like so. Oh gosh, I'm a bit messy, I know. Let's get rid of that. What I'm gonna do is I've got this baking tin here, a little bit of parchment, bang that in, like so. Get that all mixed up, that's how easy this recipe is, as you can see. And then we bang it into the tin, like so. I know it looks like really messy, but it's not really, because once you get this into the fridge, it hardens together. Let me get this on the close-up camera so you can see. Look at this, absolutely fantastic. Right, really push it in, so you want it to be a block piece. And then you want to get that into the fridge. Okay, I'm going to put it in the fridge for about four hours. And here's one I made earlier. Look at that. It's literally just a big chocolate brick. Put it on the plate. And let's quickly cut it like so. Uh, as you can see, oh, it's rock hard, but it's beautiful. And just have a look at what that actually looks like inside. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have a little taste. Mm. Mm. It's been a rocky road. This is my rocky road. Enjoy everyone. Beautifully oh, that done. Looks that so looks good. absolutely delicious. delicious. Although I'm, I'm really not. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you actually telling us that when you go on your picnic, you would take a piece of Rocky Road in that tiny, tiny little Tupperware box? Is that all you take? Yes, darling. Because that's the portions I like to go for. I go for little, small portions like this. And I'll be honest with you, you can get quite a lot in that little sport, small portion. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, a little Good tiny piece. Can I give you one more tip? Yeah. One more tip if you're going on a picnic. You know, sometimes you might have that morning dew on the grass. Take your blankets, but so that you don't like get your blanket wet, why don't you take a spare shower curtain if you've got one? <laughs> you know, you, you have a spare sh curtain, uh, shower curtain lying around. Take a shower curtain, put it on the ground first, and then you put your little blanket over the top and then it doesn't get wet. There's a little top tip for you. Genius. You know, you could get um, picnic blankets that are sort of with back plastic, plastic lined back. with plastic yeah. sort of on them. I mean, there's a top tip really? for you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Keep your shower curtain hung up and just oh, get okay. a picnic blanket that works. No, well, you never, that's you for never... people who can't, can't afford that. No, no, that's fair enough. And there may, be, there may be people up and down the country who've got a spare shower curtain just <laughs> lying around. Uh, Ali, you thank you very know. much. Thank you very much indeed. And don't forget, if you are going on a picnic, to, uh, to follow the rules. Um, thank you very much. Yes.